Welcome back to another video, you guys. I am back in Thailand, back at the house. You can see the house in the background. And who's this person right here? <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> so we are back, reunited again. It was about five weeks, just a little bit over five weeks, but man, very, very productive for me. I think Apple didn't enjoy herself too much because we spent Christmas and New Year's apart, but um, mm -hmm. it had to be done. I, I had no choice. I had to go back and fix some stuff. So anyway, Apple wants me to go across the street and check out the land. There's been a bunch of um, like foundation buildup and stuff while I was gone. Apple managed all of that project. Yes. So we are on the ATV. We're gonna go across, we're gonna check this out. I haven't seen it yet. I arrived last yeah. night, it was already dark. And so let's go check it out. Apple's gonna kind of tell us what's going on. And Apple, you're gonna be our guide. Okay, sure. All right, you guys. So anyway, the land has been built up even more than it was before. And it looks really nice. This is my first time looking at it. This area right here is where we're gonna have the emu enclosure. That lower level right there is going to be cemented in. It's gonna be the pond area for the emu, the water basin area. And it's really nice. Here where we are now, you can see it's in the afternoon and the sun is setting behind the tree line. This is going to be a great place for us to put like smaller walk-in uh, cages. I don't want to say aviaries because they're probably not going to be that big, but they'll be good for like pairs of birds or larger reptiles or whatever. And if you guys watched our other video in the back here, there was like a pretty severe drop off, but now all those truckloads of dirt have built this all up. So the water's beautiful still. Be beautiful blue underground like spring water coming up and it's still pretty full we're not to the dry season yet but wow. it is it's pretty cool that there's that much water in there just kind of coming up from the ground so this is the back of this area that we're actually working on and the the area back here this is this is like original forest and we own this also but we're not gonna mess with it at all and we're gonna wall everything in all the way um, the front is going to be a gate and then we're gonna have like a perimeter wall around the whole thing and it's gonna be pretty nice I think so we're still kind of up in the air about like any of the definite plans on what we're gonna do but the emu enclosure is um i was gonna say that's number one but actually the wall is number one and then the emu enclosure uh after that and i did a video like this already and kind of like told you guys all about our plans but this was a pretty decent expense it took many many truckloads of dirt and a bit of money to build up this this land. Yes, so. about two thousand to three thousand truckloads. Wow, that's a lot. This. But it's a big, it's a very big chunk of land. Normally, people would do that just like for their little square plot for their home or whatever. So it's not like a significant thing. But this is a huge, huge plot. If we didn't build up the dirt like all the way front to back, we would have ended up with like mud puddles in the rainy season. And so we have it all built up really well now. And we're gonna do like a winding uh, concrete road, just probably wide enough for the ATV and we'll be able to walk it and make it kind of like a botanical garden and make it real nice. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty nice. We get a lot of the people that go back and forth on this road right here. They all stop to look mm -hmm. and see like, what's the next thing that's happening here, what is the next thing that we're doing. So the next thing is the wall, then the emu enclosure, and yes. then we're gonna start doing the other enclosures as well. That pond is going to have um, some big fish in it. We're gonna introduce a bunch of fish in it, so we have to do, um, we're gonna do a well and some solar powered mm -hmm. um, pumps and sprayers and that sort of thing to keep the water aerated and yeah, that's about it. We yeah. can get city water, right, Apple? We can. Yes, we can get city water line also, and then also we can do our um, 
private solar cells water pump. That yeah. means like a, we can always have water flow around underground. Yeah. So I know exactly how to do all that stuff. <laughs> Apple's a genius. <laughs> yes, I built a big house before. So. <laughs> <laughs> so the water that's back there in the pond, I've said this before, you guys, if you watched the other video, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but for those of you that didn't see it, that water back there is all from, uh, it's all underground water. And so that's all like natural water that's coming up from the ground. And so we just want to have like a um, solar powered well to help supplement that in the dry season. And then with the city water, which is also like untreated, just like regular rainwater, um, we're going to have some, um, what are those called? Those uh, water tower things? Yes, we could do that. Yeah. Water so we're just going to be, <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to like keep, keep those filled. And then if we, if it really comes down to it, we can just um, let those go into these different ponds and things and whatever so so the fun is going to start very soon and um, and so is the money expense <laughs> but we did good the last five six weeks in the US um, we generated a nice bit of money so it's going to help fund this project for sure so pretty exciting stuff and I think we're gonna go out tonight maybe and walk around and look for some snakes oh for sure we can yes we'll see we'll see how yeah. how well adjusted or poorly adjusted i am to the time difference <laughs> if i start falling asleep jet I, lag <laughs> yeah man i feel like i want to go take a nap right now and i might but we wanted to show you guys that it's a very beautiful day actually it's um overcast and the temperatures are down it's only like 80 degrees right yeah, now very so, comfortable. yeah it's really really yes. comfortable so, all right, we'll show you guys. Hopefully tonight we'll go out and, and look for some creatures. Hopefully we'll get lucky. That is it. Our land project is starting probably very, very soon. <laughs> and we'll show you guys. Yeah. All right, you guys, we are headed out. We're going to go see what we can find. I haven't done any herping out here in a while. So wish us luck. Here we go. I found a snake over here. Okay, where are you? Do you see my light? Okay, come in. Come quickly, baby. Okay, you guys, so Apple's got a snake over here. I don't know what it is. What is it? Uh, it's a small one. It looks like kukri. Oh, I yeah. Think. Yep. Oh, that's so tiny. Guys, for reference on my hand, you can see how tiny it is. Relax, 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 relax. So these are rear fanged. Dentition is named after a knife. This snake is very, very tiny. But I want to show you the ventral side. But I don't want to get it all berserko, but to see the Central size, beautiful. And it's interesting because a lot of kukris, that orange color is only sometimes like, it really fires up mid body towards the tail. But this one, this one is beautiful all the way from the neck back. 
Wow, that's really nice. All right, nice find, Apple. So small. Mm -hmm. I guess it was just moving because I feel like if it came to a stop, it would just disappear. Yes, it's looking for food. Okay, I'm gonna let it go.